Before the world knew Harry Potter from the now famous novel, a journalist with the same name was already renowned in Sydney for his crime reporting wizardry. Television veteran Harry Potter died last night after a 10-year battle with cancer. It is the classic murder mystery. From the classic crime reporter. I'm going to take a look at what carnage has occurred overnight. For more than 30 years, Sydney's dark side was his patch. The serial killer would have driven into the forest with his victims late afternoon. I'd always uh, enjoyed the chase and, and the investigative side of it. Harry was the best. We didn't call him the silver fox for nothing. He was a legend. Harry was a friend to the New South Wales Police Force. We valued him. Always the good guy in a tough business. Mate, the little boy's been bitten, don't you? Why didn't know? But you can talk to us, can't you? He once famously described a headless body being found face down. No one told them, like Harry. But he took notes, despite the handcuffs on his wrist. But the people he covered were more than just stories. A lot of people David did stories on. He'd, he'd sit there at night and, and check on and call them up to three, ten, twenty years later. Premier Mike Baird said Harry was a passionate and committed journalist known for his integrity and his compassion towards victims of crime. A household name. Then that other Harry Potter appeared. No, I'm not the crime-fighting wizard featured in the book. Another call. Harry Potter. <laughs> You're kidding. The cancer diagnosis came ten years ago. His family says Harry inspired us all with his tremendous fighting spirit, love of life and dedication to his family, friends and colleagues. Last year he was honoured with the Kennedy Award for Lifetime Achievement. After the week I've had, I can tell you this is absolutely marvellous. Thank you. The gentleman journalist who was larger than life, Paul Kadak, 7 News.